The movie opens with a man named Nolan bringing his wife, Abigail, to New Orleanian Hospital for her delivery. The doctor takes Abigail inside the emergency room and asks Nolan to wait outside. At the same time, on the TV, the news reporter tells about Hurricane Katrina, which is predicted to be very dangerous. At the same time, the hurricane grows stronger and the glass doors of the hospital are shattered, causing all the people to evacuate to the top floor of the hospital. Dr. Edmonds comes to Nolan and tells him that your wife died due to liver failure during delivery. Nolan is distraught after hearing about his wife's death. Then Dr. Edmonds brings him to his daughter who is inside a ventilator. Dr. Edmonds tells Nolan that your daughter doesn't know how to breathe and that's why she is put in a ventilator and she has to stay in a ventilator for 48 hours. After a while, a nurse comes to Nolan, whose name is Shelley, and she gives Nolan the birth certificate of his daughter, and she tells him, if you need anything, let me know, I am here. Suddenly, the patients of the hospital start leaving the hospital. Dr. Edmonds tells Nolan that there are more patients and fewer doctors, so the patients are being shifted to another hospital. Nolan asks Dr. Edmonds to shift his daughter to another hospital too, but he told him that the ventilator cannot be moved. Dr. Edmonds consoles him and tells him that if we have to leave here in an emergency, a helicopter will come here to pick us up. Soon the hurricane deepens and the lower part of the hospital is filled with water and the electricity of the hospital also goes off. After the power goes out in the hospital, Nolan rushes to his daughter. After reaching the room, he sees on the monitor that the ventilator's battery will only last a few minutes. He calls for help but no one is there. So he goes to hospital storeroom and takes the hand crank generator from there and charges the ventilator's battery. But the battery backup of the ventilator is only for three minutes. Meanwhile, Shelley comes to Nolan and asks him to leave the hospital with his daughter. Nolan asks Shelley about the other doctors. Shelley tells him that there is no one in the hospital and everyone has left. Nolan tells Shelley that the ventilator cannot be moved. Shelley says to Nolan that I'm going now but I will definitely bring help for you. Nolan brings a bottle of water and some chips and chocolates and repeatedly charges the ventilator's battery from the generator. Nolan looks at the IV drip, which is about to end. Nolan rushes out and finds the IV drip and changes the IV drip himself. Nolan is very sleepy, so he starts talking to his daughter and tells her about his love story. Nolan sees an ambulance at the hospital. Quickly, he rushes to his daughter, charges the ventilator's battery, sets the time on his watch, and then heads to the ambulance. Upon entering, he begins calling for help on the ambulance radio, but receives no response. Suddenly, the battery timing of the ventilator decreases. Then, Nolan rushes to the generator room, which was full of water. He picks up the generator and tries to start it, but due to water in the generator, the generator gets damaged. Nolan hears the sound of a rescue helicopter and he rushes to the roof of the hospital and signals the rescue helicopter. Meanwhile, there are criminals in the other building who fire on the rescue helicopter so that the rescue helicopter saves them first. The rescue helicopter does not save anyone and leaves from there. Then Nolan rushes to his daughter. Nolan was a little late in arriving, so the ventilator's battery had run out of charge and his daughter was not breathing. Nolan quickly charges the ventilator's battery which allows her daughter to breathe again. Nolan finds a rescue dog in the hospital. Nolan unties it and brings it to the room with him and names it Sherlock. At the same time, a criminal breaks into the hospital and the criminal enters Nolan's room and takes his food. Nolan asks him for help, but he does not help him. Meanwhile, Sherlock also reaches there. Sherlock and Nolan attack the criminal, but the criminal manages to escape from them both. Nolan goes out to find Sherlock, only to find Shelley dead on the floor who had returned to help him. Nolan has not slept for two days, so he injects himself with adrenaline to keep himself awake. Meanwhile, two criminals break into the hospital and they both have guns. Nolan sees them and injects one criminal with a lot of adrenaline and takes his gun and shoots the other criminal in the head. Nolan is very injured and sleepy, but he still does not give up and continues to charge the ventilator's battery. But suddenly the handle of the generator breaks then he takes his daughter out of the ventilator machine. He then begins to breathe through his mouth to his daughter. Then suddenly everything blurs in front of him and he falls down and faints. Meanwhile, Sherlock arrives and brings along two paramedics who are carrying Nolan. Nolan informs them that his daughter is also in the hospital. The paramedics locate Nolan's daughter and bring her to him. 
Nolan is very happy to see his daughter and starts crying, and the movie ends here.